Today we're going to show you how to take a dollar store plate, which is this, and turn it into a birthday plate or something similar. You could do Christmas cookies, it could say like Santa's cookies with cookies in the middle, anything to personalize a plate. And the supplies you need are your dollar store plate, carbon paper or stencils, and then I printed uh, with Photoshop, but you can use Word as well. Um, I made this in Photoshop. This is papyrus, and that's what the font is. And I did an arc at 91%, and then I did the name at 50% in arc, but I did negative 50, 50 I'm sorry. Um, and then you are, and then you need a pencil because you're going to trace this on the carbon paper, which will then transfer it onto the plate. Scissors. And these pens, porcelain or ceramic or glass pens. These are actually glass pens, but they work on ceramic as well. And I don't need pink or purple. That's what I did for this plate. But these are going to be for Bennett's plate. So, so right now I am going to cut. And this font is athletic, which you can just download onto font. Say whatever name you want. Cut this piece down a little bit. Okay, and then we are going to cut it again. This time, leave a little space so that you don't obviously cut your tape off. Because you want your paper to be, or your words to be stuck onto the carbon paper. Okay, now I'm back and I have traced all of the carbon, the words under the carbon paper. I had to go back through a couple times on a couple letters, just so before you totally unstick it, before you take all the tape off, kind of peek underneath to make sure that your letters transferred. Um, that way you can keep it in kind of the same spot. So mine did, I think, I did peek, but not completely. So, to undo it, there, so it did. And sometimes the letters will be really faint just depending on the pressure that you put on the pencil. But as long as you can see the letter there, you should be good. Because you're just using it as a trace. And okay, Bennett's traced really good. See, you can kind of see that the B is faint at the bottom, but you can still see it, so it doesn't really matter as long as you can trace it. So I'm going to do Bennett's name in, so I'll just trace it. And these pens are very forgivable. If you mess up, I'm going to draw a cake similar to this, but um, I'm going to draw it on a piece of paper and then I'm going to put it on carbon paper and then I'm going to trace it onto here again, just like I did the letters. So I'm going to do that and then I'll be back. Uh, 
Okay, so now I have traced my cake onto carbon paper. And this is a really bad drawing, so don't judge me. Lots of erasing going on. And peel it. It didn't transfer over perfectly, but it's okay because I can still see it. So now I'm going to paint. I think I'm going to do the inside green, maybe. Hmm. Okay, so first, see how I drew, I actually made a mistake. I drew the inside of the cake. Obviously, that isn't going to work because I want the whole inside to be the same color. So I'm going to have to go back. Um, I'm just going to have to, like, let this all dry. I'm trying to get my pen. Okay, I'm just going to have to let it all dry and then go back, I guess. So... Okay. Hey guys, I'm back. Now that I've finished the plates, I just want to sum up really quickly before my camera dies everything that you need. So you need your dollar store plate. You need porcelain, ceramic, or glass pens. These, I use these Deco Art glass paint markers. Can you, if you can see that. Um, they say glass, but it actually says that you can use them on porcelain. So it's all Hobby Lobby had, and I wasn't patient. I don't, I don't have the patience to wait to get different pens in the mail. So these are what I use. But as long as it's porcelain, ceramic, or glass, and you can they're, make sure they're dishwasher safe. That way, if you end up not wanting to hand wash them. So you need those. A pencil for tracing your carbon paper, which you can find in the typewriter section at Office Depot or Office Max, wherever you go, Kinko's. Um, and you are going to take your design that you make on the computer or your freehand and you just put it onto this carbon paper onto this side and then you're going to tape your design onto it and then cut it all out and then tape it onto here once it's all placed and then you trace it and then you're going to trace over those with your deco art glass pen and the other thing that I did not show you guys is that if you are wanting to color in spots like this I suggest taking a piece of paper and kind of pushing out some of the paint and then using a paintbrush to fill in the areas because the paint doesn't really come out smoothly if you're actually trying to color in, like to fill in your, your design. So I just suggest using a little paintbrush for that. So um, the other thing I was going to go over are the fonts. This again was... Uh, papyrus in 65 point on in Photoshop and again as long as you have any word uh, any word processor word Photoshop PowerPoint um, PicMonkey any of those sites or any of those programs if you can just do an arc then you're fine you don't need a special program for it like Photoshop um, so this is Arc 50, and then her name I did, it's called Two Peas Wonderful in 72, and the Arc is negative 50. And then this is the same Papyrus 65 point plus 91 Arc. Bennett I did in Athletic, and this again is 72, negative 50. And then I also did this plate, which I didn't show me doing just because it's simple. I found a font called Lavenderia. It's one of my favorite fonts. You can find all of these on defont.com. And I think this is really cute. Just if you have friends, you know, that you're bringing, a cu bringing muffins or cupcakes or cookies or anything like that, I think these are really cute. It just says return full to sender. It's kind of fun to, you can pass back and forth to friends and if you bring them some yummy cookies, maybe they'll send you home with something good too. Um, and that was easy. Just a simple black, this black marker. 
And then once you have all of them painted, you will bake them in the oven. That's how, you'll do that with all of the pens, the, the porcelain, ceramic, or glass pens. And again, these are our personalized do-it-yourself plates. You can buy these for close to $50 on different websites, but these seriously cost maybe $5. If you're, you know, the plate's obviously a dollar, but then once you pay for all of your pens and stuff, they were maybe $5. So they're great gifts, great first birthday gifts. You could do the Christmas, you could say Santa's cookies and then have a little a picture of cookies on here. They're just great because you can personalize them and make them for anybody in your life, whether it's Mother's Day, grandparents, your children, a friend, anything. So have fun with it and be creative. Use do them on mugs or teacups. You could even do them on um, vases or anything. You can go crazy with it with different ideas. So I hope you enjoyed our tutorial and if you have any questions please ask and hopefully we will have an answer for you. So have fun. Thanks.